Well, hello. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It is Doug, the wedding officiant and host of Engagement, here to talk about whatever basically, you know, tickles my fancy. And that's uh, been the, the vein of this uh, this channel. So if you're watching for the first time on Facebook, make sure to like us. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like as well so you can follow us for all of our content. So uh, welcome to our special edition, Gift Giving by Guide of engagement. That is damn snazzy, isn't it? So uh, engagement, welcome to engagement, folks. Uh, we are doing two Christmas episodes, and then we'll take a bit of a hiatus. Uh, we've had all kinds of conversations here at engagement where we try to engage you to uh, to a community, to, to thoughts, to maybe a laugh, maybe a giggle, uh, or maybe one of those scratch your head moments. So engagement is just that. It's, it's a channel that I started frankly, because I can, and it gives me a place to yammer on and, and have a drink and meet with friends and talk with people and meet individuals that are unique and interesting. And that's really what life is all about to, to sort of engage that. But we like to have fun here and we like to have a, a drink or two. Please drink responsibly. Uh, so today we are going to be talking about uh, gifts because Christmas is around the corner, whether you're buying for Hanukkah or Christmas itself or you just don't know what to buy, or maybe you haven't gotten the Christmas spirit, we're hoping that maybe we can ignite that in you tonight. So uh, I reached out to a friend of mine who is, I think she's like the style guru of uh, of our neck of the woods, and asked her to come on. And her name is Michelle Hetherington, and Michelle is definitely a style leader in our neck of the woods. And uh, her and myself have pulled together some gift-giving ideas to spark some thoughts, maybe maybe get you to shop local. And uh, I'm going to invite her in right now. Here she comes. Hello. Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> Hi, thanks for asking me. And oh, thank you. Dial leader, I feel so, I don't know, humbled, honored. I don't know. What's well, I have oh. known you since I was a kid. And yeah. you were a style leader then, and you're a style leader now. So, you know, just embrace it. It's okay. Thank you. It's all right. Yeah. People see you in the store, and they're like, well, what, what's Michelle buying? i got to put that in my cart. So. <laughs> So we're hoping to get people to put things in their cart and shop local uh, because, you know, Christmas is just around the corner and we want to make sure that we give uh, um, something of the heart, uh, something that would be, you know, appropriate. And, and that's what we're going to do today. So uh, I've uh, dropped off of a little libations for you because uh, Dougie likes to drink a little bit. <laughs> oh, not that yet. No, no. Let's do a shot. So in my house, if you come to my house, we hang out in the kitchen a lot because uh, I like to cook. And uh, I also like to have a libation or two. And we always have in the freezer, and I think uh, most a few of our guests have had this that have been in close proximity to me. And it's it's called O Canada. And it, you can only buy it at 40 Creek. So if 40 Creek is watching out in Grimsby, um, I'm low on uh, O Canada. You could ship it to my address. You can find me in the in the uh, in the notes. And uh, we go down and we buy it by the case. And it's a little bit sweet. So I'm not sure if we should start with that or start with you know what you like <laughs> i'm good with whatever all right well let's it's your show dougie <laughs> well, let's switch it up because it is christmas mm -hmm. i also recently bought on my travels a little bit of uh tequila this is a moscow which is a smoky tequila and when you told me that you you drink tequila i was like all right yeah mm -hmm. so let's have a little tequila to start yeah. the night off cheers so, cheers a lot of tequila i know Mm. But we're from Dresden, so yeah, it was like, to say about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think they had it pumped into our water, so mm -hmm. yeah. That is a very smoky uh, tequila. Uh, Moscow's are typically smoky; they've got a lot of smoke back. Mm -hmm. I had I got this one in Sarnia, actually. The liquor store there, the LCBO, is is quite stocked. Um, truth be known, uh, we went down there to buy some gin that was referred to us by a friend, and it was a rhubarb gin, and uh, also delicious, and I saw this on the shelf and thought, you're coming in with me, so. Mm -hmm. I feel it's different. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, typically uh, a tequila is, is 
they can be very smooth. Uh, this one's got a bit of a smooth, but it's got a bit of a smoke back to it. So yeah. the Moscow's have a smoke that's infused and they're unique. And um, this maybe this Christmas I'll work on making a cocktail for that. So let's talk about some uh, some really cool stuff. So I've asked Michelle to pull together some things that that she thinks are are very cool in the way of uh, shopping. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try and go in order of what you sent me. So you'll see okay. it on, on the screen. Sure. I'm going to start with the one I like the most okay. <laughs> first. This one here. Oh, yeah. The Apple Watch. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge Apple fan. I also have an Apple Watch, and uh, I love it. And I even um, I was a Fitbit user before. And then I, sw I stopped uh, with my Fitbit for a couple of reasons. Um, one, I just didn't think their technology was there. And I don't know if people know this, but actually I'm a man of color skin um i know it's shocking um and they're they're one of their fitbits wouldn't read properly because of the of the uh, skin really Which, yeah i know right hmm. it's just how i this these things happen to me um so i went to apple but i still launch all my steps onto my fitbit so i can you know keep track of where we're at and activity trackers are a really big thing and the apple watch mm -hmm. of course is a is a is a good uh, a good gift item so uh, you have one, or you gave one? Is this? Are you so telling I just, secrets? I just got. She knows she's getting it, but okay. uh, we were just in Toronto on the weekend, so Madison actually picked this out. So it's actually for Madison. Nice. Um, and it, it is nice because, I, like, I have my phone too, and it and you know you've got your steps on that, but it's nice to have it on your wrist. Mm. And and she, we did the cellular with it too, so that if she goes for a run, then she doesn't have to worry about you know having her phone with her. It's just right. easy and light, and really keeps track of the fitness. So she really did it more for fitness than anything. Yep, and with with the cellular portion, you can actually be connected without being connected. So you can go and and run and not have to worry about your phone and your exactly. fanny pack or in your pocket yeah. or what have you. So yeah. Um, yeah, Apple watches are are awesome, and they're also really uh, they have great health. Uh, benefits to them, the fact of you know, keeping track of your EKGs and your right. ECGs and it's all those great things. So yeah, it's definitely a, a an upper echelon present. It's a, it's the yes. big Santa present for some it's people. A big Santa present, yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's Let's, her big present this year. And that's it's awesome with her mom. So yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so I can just imagine shopping with you. It'd be fun. We should go. Absolutely. So yeah. that that's that's a big gift in the the Hetherington um, household for sure. Nice, nice. Yeah. This uh, being that we're talking about, you know, drinking a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, this is yeah. also good. Yeah. So I was just at a restaurant in Kingsville called Elite, and mm -hmm. they had these spheres in our drinks, which was so cool. And I'd seen them before, and I and you know. We all have those bougie friends, which is like, where do we get those people? So, um, so I went to William Sonoma when I was at Yorkdale Mall, and um, I bought these for a friend. And there is all kinds of cool. So I got these circles or the spheres, but they had dogs, they had diamonds, they had cheer in them. So uh, they're pretty cool. So mm -hmm. again, if you don't know what to get somebody and you know that they like their cocktails, they like to entertain. I thought this was a really cool gift. Yeah, so it's actually two. And it's just a little thing that goes in your freezer, two, two pieces. Nice. And it's a beautiful, and I've seen it. So I saw it last week, and they're, they're gorgeous. So um, I got this for a friend. Yeah. Nice. So that was kind of, a, a, kind of a cool thing. We all have bougie friends, and sometimes, we bougie friends, sometimes right? we're the bougie friend. Oh, yeah. There's a little <laughs> bit of that, too. Yes. <laughs> um, I also got the whiskey cubes, too. Oh, see? Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, which yeah. are really nice. I got gold, of course. Nice. Nice. So, um, again, if you've got a whiskey uh, lover that um, likes their drinks and doesn't want them watered down, this is kind of cool. You put them in the, the freezer, and they're actually um, – they, it was reading the back of it. They're more um, – they're colder, and they're more durable than ice or something. I don't know. It's kind of cool well, they would be because so. they're, they're metal, so they're going to transfer yeah. cold fast. That's right. So. And they'll last a long time. Yeah. So uh, there's that. Yeah. yeah. So, so there's so a I science use. to drinking. So there's um, a little, if you have some friends that possibly drink, those are actually some good gifts. Those are great gifts. Mm -hmm. Those are awesome gifts. Yeah, they won't water their drinks down, but they'll chill them properly. And that's, and that's part of the science of a cocktail. So very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this one here is also a very nice gift. Yeah. So I had never seen this candle before. I got it as a gift. And actually, I'm burning it right now. And first of all, they burn really clean, which is nice. Mm -hmm. The other really cool thing about it, and I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds like a campfire. Is it got the wood wick? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. It's got a whole little, like, that's got the whole sound going on. And this one's, of course, Island Coconut. Mm -hmm. I, I like love the smell island. of Island Coconut. Right. Yeah. yeah. So just a really cool candle. And I'd never seen it before. So I thought that's kind of a, a cool thing. And I went on Amazon and they are medium ones are $30. Large ones are $35. But I have been burning this honestly, like nonstop. And it's only gone down a little bit. So it's one of those candles that really lasts, which is mm -hmm. nice. So. so if you have a, a, a bus driver to buy for yeah. or a teacher, Absolutely. it's a great gift, you know, non-offensive. It's, you know, Everybody likes it. Thoughtful. Candle. Everyone loves yeah. a candle. I love the Woodwick ones because they do sound like a campfire. They do burn well. Um, mm -hmm. And couple that with the smell of island. Oh, yeah. Coconut. Right? Yeah. We got, we got our drinks. We've got our yeah. island coconut. Yes. It's all the senses. The smell, the taste. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, I know that recently, now that you need to go and have anything done, because, you know, I always call you pretty lady. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I know that recently you had some, you've confided in me, like girlfriends, right? Absolutely. You had a little little session. So I went last week to, um, her name is Cece Bayshard, and she is in Tees. And I, I asked permission to talk about her. Um, so she's on 4th Street in Chatham. Honestly, it was an hour and a half of pure heaven. Like, honestly, mm. she was doing stuff to me. I don't know, like layers and layers of things. And the massage, at, like in the middle of it with the mask on, like amazing, amazing facial. So nice. I would recommend if you have something that's really hard to buy for. Again, my mother um, is getting this gift certificate. Um, it's an amazing experience, right? Because, you know, sometimes we have those people in our life. It's like, okay, what do you buy them? Have an experience. So that's what my mom is actually getting well and they can go and they can relax and they can yeah. think of you and they can feel great and giving the gift of having someone feel great that's a pretty awesome gift absolutely right they yeah. they absolutely. walk out they feel refreshed and renewed and and right. yeah it's awesome yeah. so all this talk about refreshing this you should have your uh oh canada nearby do you have my own canada yeah let's give that yes. a go Okay, so this is a okay. maple whiskey, again, only from uh, Forty Creek. It smells really good. It smells like it's, cakes. <laughs> we keep it in the freezer. It's it's delicious. So yeah, I was it was in my freezer. Yeah, good girl. Very nice, isn't it? So yeah. you know, Forty Creek. If you're wow. watching, it's that Doug Robbins awesome. in Chatham. Come find me because uh, we go through a lot of it here. That's really it, it is. It's very tasty, right? So what do you, do you just normally just do this as a shot duck? Or yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a starter here at the, at the Robin's nest and um, a nice cream or something. Oh yeah. Pancakes. Right. <laughs> <Or> pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> My family Christmas. <laughs> pancakes. I do a, uh, uh, a cream cheese and berry stuffed croissant. As like a French toast. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is on, delicious wow. on top of it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Wow. So we yeah. need to run out and get that for um, Christmas morning for sure. Well, you got to go to Grimsby unless Forty Creek is watching and they want to send Doug oh, a case. Yeah. Right. So uh, yeah. Can you sure. order online at all? No, or? you have to go there. I physically okay. have to go there. So if somebody's going to Grimsby, they need to call. Yeah. If you're going to Grimsby, let Doug and Michelle know because sure. uh, I, I have more people right. asking for it. it. We buy it by the, sometimes we, I think one time we bought three cases. Really? Uh, there was myself and a few other people that were buying it, but uh, it's really it good. Was, it was certainly, uh, it was certainly good. So put it, yeah. oh, put it on cereal. Thanks, Susie. Okay. We'll try that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, hey, if that's come from Boozy Susie, she knows. So she's uh, also been on the show and had uh, several cocktails here at the Robin's Nest. So nice. yeah, uh -huh. cereal would be good. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you have to go to Grimsby. It's a trip. Uh, but the, uh, the plus side is that there is an Ikea right there, which we all know is Swedish for Walmart. Okay. And it's right around the corner. So you can two birds, one stone or Absolutely. drive a little further and hit the wine country and uh, nice. uh, Dylan's distillery, which is out that way. Dylan's, if you're watching, check mm -hmm. out uh, you know, Doug, the officiant. He has a cocktail or two and uh, you make it make a trip of it. Right. Nice. Yeah. So, um, speaking of other tasty things, uh, this here is a local product mm. that uh, we both admire. Absolutely. So, bowl of cream. If if you first of all haven't had her ice cream, it's mm. amazing, amazing. Yeah. It's worth every 
calorie, but she makes <laughs> but she makes this caramel sauce. Mm -hmm. It's twelve dollars for a jar. So yeah, well friend, if you have like teachers or bus drivers or a secret Santa, mm -hmm. and all you need to do is email her, and her email is a second dot <laughs> bowl of cream at gmail dot com. Absolutely. Yeah. Reach out. It's a great stocking oh, stuffer. Uh, or or buy a couple. Buy one for your for yourself for the fridge for the holidays, right? Yeah. Put in your coffee, like again, like a million things you could do. With that, a right? million things you could do. Yeah. Uh, I grew up um, as a as a poor little kid in Dresden, and my mom would make uh, cake and sauce. So it was a white cake uh, that was baked, and then you, she made like a caramel sauce you put on top. This cuts the work in half. Just right? nuke that stuff and put it on top, and your friends yeah. will think that you pound cake. You buy pound cake. I did a pound cake fondue one time Ooh. where I put the fondue and long like fingers on, on skewers into hot caramel sauce. People thought they had died and gone to heaven. Oh, wow, that would be good. Right? Yeah, that'd be a good New Year's thing to do. I know, right? Mm. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. So check awesome. out Bowl of Cream. Bowl locally cream. made, locally yeah. sourced. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Worth every penny. Yeah. Worth every penny. Um this is this is when I don't know what's going on with this, but I'm going to show it right now. Okay, yeah. So this is Shutterfly. So mm -hmm. um, there is a lot of cool things you can do with Shutterfly. So yeah. Madison one year made, um, you can see that, a book for us. So we, um, Madison was in Europe um, studying, and I went and visited her, and so we did a little girls trip. Nice. So she made this book for me for Christmas, and it was, it's awesome. That's wonderful. So, and it's so easy to use. Like, I am not the most technical person but basically what you do is you go onto shutterfly you download your pictures and you can do books like this and you can put whatever you want on them which is kind of cool mm -hmm. i did that for a girlfriend last year Madison did it for me you can do canvases too as well so right. if you have a, a favorite picture you can make a canvas you can do i did a funny thing with a girlfriend a picture of her and i on a mug and like there's just fun <sighs> you can do right mugs t-shirts yeah. like you know you could have a lot of fun with that right canvases books so it's so easy to use i ordered something i think on the weekend what is it wednesday i already have my the gift wow so quick which is that's great. very fast yeah and if you're if you're you know if you procrastinate like a lot of us guys do yeah. Yeah. This is a very thoughtful gift. You know, it's a great gift for like for Nana or grandma, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah because sure. what do you buy them? They have everything already. Yeah. So absolutely. you put the memories in a in a book that's yeah. professionally done and bound and and mm -hmm. pretty and yeah, that's an awesome gift. So that's just yeah. kind of a, a nice thoughtful thing if you're really trying to think of something for somebody and um, that's kind of a, a cool one. Now I know that Ellen DeGeneres is good friends with Shutterfly Fly. So you know if Ellen's watching, you know there you go. Doug and Michelle like Shutterfly, Shutterfly, Shutterfly too. Shutterfly. Yeah. Come on and send it over to us. So. Yeah, I think it'd be funny. You could do some funny things like that. I'm sure you could get socks with your face on it or underwear or what. Like, there's funny things you could do, right? Yes. Yeah. That's what everyone have fun is. With that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Socks or underwear with my face on it. Um. So I uh, sent over a, a a drink for you as well. That yes. your, your big drink. So this, this is, is so a good. Santa Claus Cosmo. Because okay. Sex in the City is coming out with their their new revamp, uh, like today or tomorrow, and they drink Cosmos, and we stopped drinking Cosmos because it, you know, everyone was doing it. And then I had a Cosmo, I don't know, during COVID, and I'm like, why do we stop drinking this? So this is a white cranberry Cosmo. It's really good. It's good. It's tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. Very easy. Very festive. You can make it by the leader if you need to you, some you brought me leader over i'm a little concerned <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know you're yeah, from Dresden. You know. yeah but you know throwing some frozen cranberries it keeps yeah, it cold it's, so it's festive yeah Wait, it's so pretty it's very pretty it's very pretty okay. and it's tasty and you know it's it's chic so mm -hmm. um I think that's all the ones that you have suggested to me. Now, I want to suggest a couple uh, additional ones here. There's, you know, um, I did the background for Christmas because, you know, I'm a festive fellow. And uh, one of our local friends who also is a very talented um, crafter, uh, I, I think artist is probably a better word. Her name is... is uh, uh, Brenda Martin, she makes these. This is a garland. Garlands are huge right now. 
Mm-hmm. You know, these, these ropes with these hand painted beads and she stylizes either your name on the, on the little bell or jingle or whatever you want. And they're gorgeous for, for decorating. And she also makes a little small little dangler like this here, which mm. do whatever you want with that, I suppose. Right. But uh, very festive, very fun, very nice. And, and, and uh, Brenda makes these and she, you can find her here in Chatham. Her and Barry Martin uh, live in Chatham. They also saw them in Dresden at Kimberly's, mm. and um, they're gorgeous. They're they're well made and and uh, they're made with love. So nice. it's uh, it's worth it. Another local that I love is uh, Mary Jane mm. Komiski. She makes pottery. Look at this. I'm talking like put a wheel of brie in the center of that, throw it in the oven, bring it out, top it with some jam or some cranberries, and uh, add your you know chip of choice or crackers, and away it's a party. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I remember a long time ago, my very first pottery bowl that I bought came with a knife. It was like a pate spreader. And they had a recipe in there for hot crab dip. And I think I made that hot crab dip every year for every party for like five years. Always running. a hit. There's always um, your staples, right? Always a hit. Always good. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's always good to shop local and, and support Absolutely. local people as well. I did uh, um, in the, in the flair of, of cocktails, um, uh, everyone should have a cocktail set, mm-hmm. a bar set of some sort. Now, this is the basics. It's a really nice rose gold. It's got the uh, you know the the, the two size jigger. It's got the strainer. It's got the the shaker. The big thing is that is that spoon that has a fork on the end. That right I don't now. I don't know what to do with that, Doug. What do you do with that? Well, a, a bartender a, or a mixologist, as we like to call them, will swizzle that, use that spoon and ice in a in a in a, a, a glass to 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 spin it and get it cold, as opposed to shaking it. So it's shaken, okay. not stirred. It's the okay. stirring portion. Gotcha. But the the coolest thing is um, gin and tonic. So mm-hmm. you can put your gin and your ice and your your um, your lime in there, and then put your spoon in and take your bottle of of tonic. A, a actual glass bottle and actually put it against that that uh spoon that has the, the swirl see the little swirl yeah, in there yeah, absolutely pour it against that spoon and it'll swirl down into your drink without fizzing up i saw that on the tiki talkie wow that's impressive you should have demonstrated that i should have yes i should have it's not gin and tonic season but i i could have yeah, yeah. you could have um, I do have a lot of these, and I thought this was really, really important. This is a local shop. Everybody needs a Moscow Mule mug. And it should be copper on the outside, and it should be stainless steel on the inside, because that's the safest, you know, for health regulations. But everyone needs one of those for, you know, you can make a Christmas mule, or as Boozy Susie calls them, a, a donkey. Um, they're They're just great to have for all seasons. And, you know, I think they are they're very popular and they're, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. You can buy those actually at Berry Patch here in Chatham. So nice. it's a That's good a shop. Great, yeah. So the other thing for entertaining would be, um, you know, some sort of unique uh, board, whether it's for charcuterie or, or just, you know, putting out some brie. Uh, I love this set because it has the little forks that have nice little sayings on it that you stick in to identify the, the, the cheese of choice uh, or just to remind people, you know, to enjoy themselves because you know we've had a really rough couple of years right so let's mm-hmm. let's enjoy ourselves right absolutely absolutely let's mm-hmm. to that <laughs> amen sister mm-hmm. and then pottery who doesn't love this is a a pottery line that is also carried at berry patch it's beautiful it's it's interesting it's utilitarian you can throw it in the oven microwave it's it's awesome so having those things in your arsenal, so you know if someone shows up and you can just pull out a wheel of brie and some crackers or some cheese and some meat, yeah, they're they're just they just amp it up a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. That's but all for the those, thing, right? Hmm? It's all part, about presentation, how like how it looks. Oh, you eat with your eyes. You do first. For you sure. eat with your eyes. You look at that. You go, that's that looks good. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy that. So mm-hmm. um, I have a couple more that I want to show you, but I've got a couple questions for you. And I warned you, I'm not going to be the Barbara Walters of uh, Christmas here. That's okay. So, um, what was your best childhood Christmas? 
Remember? Wow, that's a that's a really good question. Um, yeah, you didn't you didn't prep me for this. You know what? I just love family. So I have so many great family memories. Um, just growing up, uh, you know, with my family Christmas morning, you know, all together, and my dad acting, and he's passed away now. So of course, that's really dear dear to my heart but my dad was always the jokester and you know always funny and and um, always you know cracking jokes and doing funny things like that but just I think even as a kid like I just really always appreciated family and being together and my brother lives in Tulsa Oklahoma now so I have not seen him in two years so wow you know, yeah so like just the love of family and being together and um you know just having fun and laughing as a family was just like it really wasn't i don't really remember a present it was just it's just that christmas morning for mm -hmm. sure. it's like one of my great memories yeah yeah and that's i mean that's what it should be it should be about you know, yeah. who you're with not what you get yeah right? and, and we, we've kind of done something kind of very unconventional so i'm divorced and um so every uh christmas since greg and i have been divorced we do christmas morning together which, That's very cool. Which is really kind of unconventional. But again, I think it's probably both like Greg with very strong family roots and myself. Like we just didn't want, I didn't want him to miss Christmas morning and I didn't want to miss Christmas morning. So we've always done Christmas together. So I think just like those roots of your family and being together was really important for us as divorced parents trying to co-parent and being the best parents for our kids, um, just doing that together. So we've kind of continued that. So we've got some very um, probably untraditional Christmas, uh, mm. um, you know, uh, traditions, but it, it works for our family. So, well, you know, yeah. I mean, I've, I have known you a long time. I, yeah. I remember you guys vividly and fondly back in the day when you were married and, and uh, we have a lot of mutual friends. We, yes. we yeah. you know, we always compare notes, but you and Greg, <laughs> Okay, you're but, you, but, you, but you guys are very, very authentic, right? Yeah, I remember a story that our friend said. I hope this doesn't embarrass you. I know it won't. That's okay. Um, about how you know, typically, if 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 you've got friends coming over for like cocktails or a drink, right? Right, mm -hmm. and you'd be maybe arguing because you know shit happens, right? Sure. We're not all perfect. No, gosh. Um, so normally the doorbell would ring in our room, and be like, okay, we'll just later. No, I remember the story that uh, basically the doorbell rang and and they walked in and it was just like, and furthermore, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I mean, why why pretend? Why pretend? I've this is always, very life, right? Always said, you know, you can only be who you are. That's right. So yeah. to, to to have you know that that cocktail party or friends over for dinner where you have to sort of like turn that off because mm -hmm. you're not done yet. Um, and then turn it back on when they leave. It, that's a, that's not authentic. It's not to 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 bring them in and 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 carry on and continue and and finish and mm -hmm. and then go on with your night. Yeah, kudos. Yeah. So you guys are very mature to be able to have yeah. you know Christmas together in an unconventional family way, and you're still family at the end We're of the still day. Family. Family. It's yeah. not the like what's traditional today, though. Like you yeah. know, what's I think it's it's putting your your children first and making them the priority. And yeah. and we we do all really get along, which we do. It's, yeah. You know, we, there doesn't have to be, you know, no. bad, bad energy, right? It's it's all good because it's just that it's bad energy. It is right, and that takes a lot of energy out of you does, to be right. So it's just, you know. Uh, speak your mind as you always do, and I've always mm -hmm. done the same thing, and 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 get on with it, and move forward is the only direction. So if, if forward for your family means getting together and having a non non traditional yeah. uh, Christmas, I always believe family isn't necessarily blood. Uh, there's a great a great song that came out by El uh, with Elton John's latest uh, latest uh, album th uh, that he did during um, lockdown mm -hmm. called, and the words were, "We may not share." A D and A, or or the same last name, but we're family, and that's yeah. you know that that you know it's very mature of you guys to still get together, um, because you want to be together and you want to enjoy the family together and you want to witness those moments of opening presents together. So that's not you don't have to have the replay, right? So. And I'm not saying that would work for like everybody. No. you know, it's just I think you have to do what's right for your family, right? I agree. I agree. I um, when my uh, oldest son got married, he didn't ask for any speeches at the wedding, and then when the uh, the the father of the bride got up and and had a speech, um, I took the podium and without a speech, just mm -hmm. typical Doug, 
uh, I basically said, you know, your, your marriage is what you make of it. Right. And, um, you know, not all marriages are the same. Um, and don't, don't try to be a traditional uh, family or husband and wife, because in our household, uh, it's not uncommon for um, me to cook the dinner, my wife to wash the dishes, or my wife will cut the grass and I'll bring her cocktails. It's it's whatever works for you. I mean, Absolutely. I don't like cutting grass. I did it as a kid make to make money, and I don't really relish the idea. I mean, I'll do it. I know how to cut grass, mm -hmm. but um, for us, whatever works for you should right. work for you. So and This is the whole conversation on marriage. I heard a really good quote. It's like, your relationship doesn't have to make sense to anybody but the two of you. And Very that's true. So, that's so true. Very right? true. I'll drink to that. Let's drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> That is you very, very never true. know what, where the conversation with Doug's going to go. You never know. Doug will ask anything. I'm not shy. So um, I want to show a couple more gift ideas before. Uh, oh, Berry Patch. This also is a great pottery piece from Berry Patch. Mm -hmm. They have so many awesome things. Yeah, that's yeah. gorgeous. Handmade platter. Um, I love it. I love it. Nice. Really nice. And also, if you're at the Berry Patch, they, ha they started carrying oils it's like uh, beautiful fragrant flavored oils like the the smoke ball balsamic vinegar is so great in a in a in a salad dressing there's so many great things you can put them on um i always tell people though if you're buying the the oils from wherever you're buying them taste them first make sure they're not too strong and then you may use them very sparingly you may have that large vessel that you might only use just a, a dribble because that's all you need and, and they they can be quite potent because they're they're really reduced, so they get that that thick um, uh, balsamic vinegar. It's been reduced, so the flavor is going to be intensified. So it's always good. Um, I'm gonna oils, I'm going to have to get some. I, I love all those oils, cooking yeah. oils. Oh yeah, they're great. I love margin or butter or whatever. Exactly. Um, last night I was really happy to see this post. The Cooking Ladies. I don't know if you know the Cooking Ladies. Mm. So Phyllis and Lamont um, are, they actually lived here in our neck of the woods. I got to, I was very, very, very fortunate to meet them both. This, this is the two of them. Um, so uh, Phyllis would be on your uh, right and Lamont is on your left. Lamont recently passed away. She was going to be on our show, actually, wow. um, to talk about phenomenal women. Mm -hmm. And um, they're both phenomenal uh, women. Very... Uh, I would say fearless. They're they're both very fearless awesome. chicks, and, I, and they'd be okay if I said chicks because they uh, they did a um, a road tour driving around in a RV uh, across the Canada United States, checking out uh, recipes and uh, barbecue joints, and wow. wrote wrote cookbooks, and they phenomenal. And and actually, just uh, weeks before Lamont passed away. Her and I were uh, conversing back and forth about her being on the show, and we had postponed it because she wasn't feeling well. And and then, um, unfortunately, she passed away, and and uh, it was devastating to a lot of us. But this cookbook lives on, mm. and you, uh, I think Amazon is almost sold out. But uh, if you happen to be in Chatham, I think uh, you might find it at Shingles Meats, Shingles Gourmet on Richmond. I think they have a copy. I have a copy from them that's personalized for me so you're not getting my copy um but yeah great cookbook uh fun recipes uh incredible uh ladies great duo so they they were you know are phenomenal so uh great christmas gift for those that uh because those that like cookbooks or as i call it um i call it kitchen porn uh it's it's one of the <laughs> Right. It's one of those things you like you want to thumb through and you want to look at it and, you know, mm -hmm. make notes or dog ear it because I might want to make this later. So it's it's a, it's a great cookbook to have in your in your arsenal. So, nice. yeah. So, Michelle, one more question for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Michelle doesn't know any of these questions. Right? <laughs> he did not prep me. Just so I said, know. we're just going to have a talk. It's just two friends. Having yeah. a drink, having a conversation. Mm -hmm. um, so when I did my phenomenal female series, and I invited you on, but you, you were did. you were busy. Yeah. So, for, so busy. For those that don't know, Michelle, Michelle is uh, been an entrepreneur forever. Mm -hmm. Not only a style maven, but an entrepreneur, um, an entrepreneur with style. There we go. New title for you. There you go. 
uh, worked in, we both worked in finance and insurance for a lot of years mm -hmm. and Michelle just retired. I did. So I, of yeah. course I asked her knowing Michelle and knowing the entrepreneur that she is, I said, so what's the next chapter? Cause I retired for 10 months and that didn't last because I was bored. Right. We're, we're too you young to retire. To we're way too young <laughs> for that. So I asked her, I said, what are you going to do? She's well, you know, I haven't really, you know, not really saying, but you're going to tell us today, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to sell real estate. That's what I'm going to do. So my next venture. Mm -hmm. I I know Michelle has I joke that she's built 12 houses, but it's yeah. not quite 12. It's been a lot of houses. Yeah. yeah. Uh you have a flair for style. And you know, if you're looking to buy a house and looking for someone that can walk you through a house and give you some vision, some true vision of, well, if you take this out or if you change this or paint the wall that Michelle is the person that will tell you that. Oh, thank you, Dad. Yeah, because Michelle you. sees things that we don't see. Um, in the way of of lifestyle and living and 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 style in general, so I think you will you will rock it. Thank you. you will rock it. So um, I'm excited. It's a new, it's a new chapter and it's exciting. And I I hope I always teach my kids that you can always you know change and reinvent yourself. And you know you should just always be striving for different things and more. And you should. I mean, yeah. the the great thing about um, maybe it's our generation, I'm not sure, but you have lifestyle lessons that you bring mm -hmm. along with you. You might learn something in finance that you might use in, in real estate. Absolutely. Guaranteed you will, right? They do, they do cross over very well, mm -hmm. but there's, there's life learnings. There's things that you can carry forward and, and learn to do or, or have lessons from that will, you know, you, m magically come out of your back pocket and you, now you're using it. So um, you know, cheers to that. Thank you. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. No. That's my disclaimer for my lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's done. So the question, because again, mm -hmm. you don't know the questions. No. Uh, and this is the last one I have for you, because I, I didn't want to grill you or anything. That's okay. Um, and I ask this to a lot of our phenomenal females, that if you could have someone for Christmas dinner, Dead or alive? Okay. Would it be? My dad. My dad. Yes, that's awesome. I miss him every single day. Yeah. So I would have my dad. My 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 mom would love to see him. Uh, yeah, I would have my dad again. My dad was Mister Christmas, and mm. I think after he passed away, it was not really the same. But he loved Christmas. He loved family. He loved teasing. He loved. Um, you know, joking around and the dinners and the drinks. And so I would definitely have my father for Christmas. Dinner. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes. And I'm sure if he could be here, he would be here for you he because sure. yeah. So did you pick up the Christmas torch or the mistletoe after he, uh, after he passed away? Um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a bit difficult with my, my brother being in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but, and then with COVID and things like that. But uh, a couple of years ago, we went down there after Christmas, but um uh, it's been a bit of a challenge and, and to see that and anybody that's grieving or has lost somebody over Christmas, even though he's been gone, he, honestly, he's been gone 17 years. It's still that empty chair at Christmas time. So anybody that's going through a loss at Christmas, I feel for you. And it's um, never the same. You have to, you know, um, move, move on in certain ways, but it's not, it's not the same. So yeah. I, I feel for people with grief at Christmas time and losing people at Christmas time. My heart yeah. goes out to you. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, yeah. it's tough any time of the year. And when you go through, totally. even if it's not a Christmas time and you have to have that yeah. first Christmas without and yeah. the second Christmas without, I mean, Absolutely. they never get easy, right? They, they're That's always funny. difficult. So no. Yeah. But yeah. new traditions and, you know, you honor them and I honor my dad and I think how grateful I am that I had him for as many years as I did have him. So, um, you know, I just, I just, I'm grateful for him. So I, unfortunately it was too short. He was 59 when he passed away. It's really wow. Cool. Yeah. 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 That is, that's yeah. too soon. So, yeah. Yep. So new traditions and, uh, you know, trying to be positive and, and uh, do new things and, and, and appreciate all the good around you as well. You know what? You said it best. Mm -hmm. You always do, though. So mm -hmm. that's that's a great summary. So, Michelle, as always, it's 
phenomenal to talk to you. It's always a always breath nice of fresh to, air. Always nice to talk to you, Dougie. <laughs> wow, that was fun. Michelle is one of the few people that get to call me Dougie, actually. Because I've known I, him for so long. I know, right? <laughs> so if you're not my mom or my one of my siblings, uh, yeah, Dougie's, uh, Michelle's in a league all by herself. So um, join us next week when we talk about uh, some Christmas cheer and uh you know michelle ha have the very best holiday and enjoy yeah. yourself yeah. and best of luck in your new career not that you need it because you're gonna you're gonna knock it out of the park okay. and um you know thank you folks for coming to engagement and we will talk to you next week <laughs>